हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल दिस इज आवर थर्टी सेवन टूटोरियल ऑफ पावर बी आई इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट बुक मार्क एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर क्लियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बुक मार्क सो नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल लर्न मोर अबाउट पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप तो आवर टूडे क्लास टॉपिक इज वट इफ पैरामीटर तो गाइज वट इफ पैरामीटर गिव्स यू द एबिलिटी टू डायनेमिकली ट्रांसफॉर्म योर डेटा For example, if your current sale is five thousand, and if it rises up to ten percent, then what will be the sales? So in this way, we can analyze the sales up to ten percent, twenty percent, or so on. So let's understand this concept with the practical. So before understand this concept, I will add one more page here, and under this page, I will take this visual, which is clustered column chart. let me resize it and now i will take this date hierarchy from this calendar table and i will remove years day and quarter and now i will add total sales column from here so if we have already created this measure so you just simply drag and drop here so we have created this chart and let me turn on the data label first and let me increase the size of the data label now with the help of this chart we can easily see the month wise sale so now guys our requirement is we want to see the sales if sales rises up to 10 multiple of sale then what will be the sale and if it get rises up to 20 or 30 or 40 multiple so what will be the sales so we can compare the sales for apply this logic of what if parameter so here guys firstly we will go to this modeling tab and under modeling tab we have a option which is new parameter so once you click it then new window will pop up so here in name option we can rename this so i will rename this multiples now the second option is data type so we have three options are here whole number decimal number and fixed decimal number So, if you want to apply the logics on the basis of decimal number like 10.5, 1.5, or maybe any 0.5, so you can use this other data types. So, in this case, we can select whole number because we don't require any decimal number. Now we need to select minimum value or maximum value. So, it could be anything. You can enter any value according to your requirement. so let's say i want to create a series between 10 to 80 so my minimum value should be 10 and the maximum value is 80 and under increment you can select any value increment basically means on what parameter you want to increment like on the basis of 5 on the basis of 10 or on the basis of 15 so i will put it here 10 because i want the intervals of 10 and default value you can select anything so i will select here again 10 and now create so once you click it then we can see new slicer has added on the screen and if we see in the field section so we have one more table has added which is multiples now let me convert this slicer into list and now let me expand this multiple table so in multiple table we can see the two options the first one is measure which is multiple value so you guys can see this measure which is selected value and this is the column guys which is the multiple of 10 so the minimum value is 10 and the maximum value is 80 so it has generated the series now guys i will simply create one dax function go to the new measure so let's say my function name is 
sum x and I will write sum x so the first parameter is table so I will select the sales table um, now the second parameter is expression so I will select total sales in expression now close the bracket now guys I will add one more logic here so I want to multiply this sum x with selected value function which is in the multiple table. So our measure name is multiple values and press enter. So we have created some x measure guys and let me rename this as a comparison. So we have created this measure which is comparison. So I will simply drag and drop into the visual. So guys, we can see this is a January month sale. If you hover the mouse on the January sale, so you can see the actual sale which is 14900. It is almost about 15k. If we multiply this sale to 10 times, then we can see it will reflect as 1493 times 0, which we can see here. So guys, we have selected the default value is 10. When we were creating the parameter so that's why it is displaying multiple of 10 so now we want to see what would be the sale if we multiply with 20 so you just simply go here in slicer and click on 20 so under this chart actual sales is multiply with 20 so guys in this way we can create our target value if our target is rises up to two times of the sale or the three times of the sale so what would be the actual target if you click on 30, so you guys can see if this sale is multiplied with 30, so it would be 0 0.45 million. So, guys, now you can use this body parameter to see the view dynamically, or we can create own slicer dynamically. I hope, guys, you are understood the concept of what if parameter. So, for more learning about Power BI, please stay tuned with us and please support this channel. Kindly subscribe and share in your network. And if you guys want to looking for separate paid interview preparation training or full course power bi training so you guys can connect me on linkedin link is given under the description box thank you so much guys for your more love and support thank you so much